and um, and siege tanks as well. Uh, researching siege tech is not probably gonna, not going to finish in time because he is going for the rocks here. He does take out the first set there. Um, does he have the lead in the army? Yes, he does. But have I spent more on technology? I've spent a lot more on technology. Uh, he does have um, a kind of proxy pylon right there. I, I, can, I can't tell you what that is. Nexus is almost done, but so is my command center. Mine is up now. And, yeah, once again, two observers. Ugh. I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but it is ending up a mistake because it's not doing much for him. Second set going down, they just crumble and disappear because my graphics suck. I am getting the supply depot here because I assume that uh, once I do something like that to him, he's going to want to do the same thing back to me. Siege tank can siege up. It is not sieged up, though. And this attack will come in. And here, I don't have these guys uh, hotkeyed, so I do have to select them. Send them in. Oh, Viking gonna go and die. Uh, this guy does siege up, and that scares him off. Um, I will give him credit. Um, I'll probably bring it up later in this game. He is good um, at staying away from my siege tanks. And here... Uh -huh, oh, this is how he knew. Okay. I did just play this game today, and I was wondering... I was like, did he, did he just expect it? I am going for a medevac drop here. And what does he do? He goes right where I'm going to drop it. Hanging out in the corner here. Once I go up here, uh, Zerbers are late, though. So, But he, he does realize where they're going to be. And he's, cr and he's getting a couple more stalkers in. And so I land, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I try to load these guys back in and start to run away, but no. There's just too many stalkers. Um, should have just left them out to fight. Uh, I always want to think about the, the medevac evac, but it wasn't going to happen. He is completely oversaturated on his minerals here. Still no transfer. Still nothing coming out of the expansion. I have transferred. I am getting mules there. Um... You know, doing a great job, actually, if I may say so myself, of spending my minerals and gas. Um, you know, it's the 17-minute mark, and I'm down to 200, 150. That's pretty damn good. Now, just seeing the transfer, here, um, looks like that <laughs> Nexus actually got full chrono boost by the time he transferred. Uh, two assimilators are on the way. I do have quite a huge lead in the supply count. Uh, not that big of a lead in the army count, though. Most of that is tied up in harvesters, and I do have quite a substantial lead there. Uh, going off three gas, now just getting the fourth up, not fully saturated there. He does go in, and he will be able to see my expansion. Oh, man, I hate observers. Because they tell them everything! So, I, you know, I always get... I have, I have a starport up here. Get one. Just just one raven. I know you can't see all the descriptions of it, but you can see that I'm highlighting the raven. Get the raven. And he wasn't really paying attention with his observer, I guess, because he won't notice that I am going for the gold expansion here. Um, oh, but he's going for it as well. Uh, he will be sorely disappointed when I have mine up before his, and I'm keeping a marine at the watchtower just in case he does try to send something my way I won't be able to get stuff there that quickly um, but that's why I'm gonna get a planetary fortress but I should be good enough to take out this probe especially since he's not really paying attention to it see look it, uh, this would be a great time to send all these guys down and take out my expansion but he does see that I am moving out um, he, you know that observer probably told him, holy crap, the whole army's not there anymore. So he is retreating back into his base. A Colossus is out. Uh, with the Thermal Lance upgrade on the way, he will not have it done in time, it looks though, look, looks like, though. And here, he meets me out in the middle of the field. I am not prepared for this. I'm 
just now getting the siege tanks up and running and boom there he goes running so I'm waiting for the stim to finish waiting for these guys to get fully healed again these uh, medevacs should have plenty of energy to get that done still has two observers in my base um, should be keeping an eye on these guys to let them know what's going on I move over here I guess the smoke isn't as see th isn't as uh opaque as I would like it to think because I could see that very clearly. I don't see these guys in time so they are going to be able to take out uh, one siege tank before they run back. I stop here and I siege these guys up, start running the rest of the army in and start doing damage. Of course these guys are mostly attacking um, see look his concave formed right on the line of this siege tank so that siege tank was doing great jobs three one eight kills and one kill there and therefore he left the game and I said holy crap that was because of my siege tanks but really it's because he he fell apart in the mid to late game um my my command center here is up I'm happy about that uh but that me going for his expansion early uh, he had nothing there to defend it didn't even have his his units here so um, I, I didn't need to go through the back door but I always like to in case he does have the army out here like I do uh, right now because uh, I, I, I would rather take out the expansion than fight the army um, so, uh, you know, the siege tanks are what won this for me in the end. Um, you know, they, they're the ones that got, you know, a lot of that uh, done um, on the units lost count. See, these guys, you know, got very, very, very few kills between them. Uh, none of them even close to the eight. That my guy, my guy the tank. Where is he? That guy the tank got. Um, so, it was... You know, do once that expansion went down, he didn't have anything guarding it. And then once he got that replacement expansion up, um, he didn't get anything to to mine off of it. So he was mining off of nothing for a ton of time. You know, keep track of that. Um, you know, I don't have any SCVs left in my main base. I still have missile turrets up because I, for some reason, cannot salvage them. I would love to be able to salvage those things once they're done, but I'm sure Protoss players would love to salvage their photon cannons as well. So I'm fully still going here at my expansion. Um, maybe even a little oversaturated 22 harvesters. Mm, yeah, that's... I'll, I'll say that's decent. Um, yeah, three warp gates, this one being chrono boosted. Um, but, yeah, it, w it was a, a matter of his lack of macro that won this game for me. Um, because it wasn't his, it wasn't the APM. Because of course he still beat me at that, and uh, we sent about the same on the army. But you know I destroyed you know five thousand more, so I am left with you know a ton more of an army. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.